A huge construction project is happening in our backyard, but you can't see it. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. This massive construction project is hundreds of feet underground, mm -hmm. and when it's finished, you'll have extra power to keep warm this winter. Calvin Steve joins us now to explain. Calvin. Latricia, Josh, many of us know about the man-made lake on top of Raccoon Mountain west of Chattanooga. It's the pump storage plant underground that's having the work done. So how does the pump storage plant work? Well, it's really simple. If you look at the map, that we've got here. This is the river over here. Water is taken out of the Tennessee River. It follows through a pipe down here to a pump. This pump right here pumps that water every night up to the reservoir on top of the mountain. Now, during the daytime, that water it comes back down the same pipe to the uh, pump, which now serves as a generator. Generates electricity. That water goes right back out into the river. Basically, it's recycled water. That's what it amounts to. Now, Raccoon Mountain has been one of the little known ways that TVA generates power. It is. It's close to Chattanooga, and it's, it's a mystery. <laughs> It's an unknown, and it's, it's really an engineering marvel when you come in and look and, and observe what they've done. Every five to seven years, TVA says it has to shut down the four generators at its Raccoon Mountain Pump Storage Plant for maintenance. Uh, we're looking for spalling, cracked concrete, just excessive wear that we might need to take an opportunity to, to repair or, or correct. During the shutdown period, usually one of the four big water cylinders called spherical valves are completely taken out and the seals on them replaced. The spherical valve works like a water faucet in the kitchen. The seals being replaced are like the rubber gaskets in the faucet. It's critical for TVA to be able to continue running the other three units in the event that we did have a, a maintenance issue arise. At one point, TVA says it had problems with rotors and the power generators that spin to make electricity during the day. Over the past three years, we've done a lot of work here. We've replaced the rotors, we've rebuilt the statters of the generators, we've put new transformers in the uh, mountain, and so the cables are the last piece of the, pro the puzzle. Those cables carrying electricity generated from below are massive. Hold the end of it up so I can see the end of it. Yeah, yeah, that's easier said than done. The cables weigh 15 pounds per foot and they range from anywhere from 2,200 feet to 2,600 feet. So you're, you're looking at approximately 40,000 pounds per cable. Each cable is pulled up the visitor center elevator shaft 1,080 feet high and are being tied into the TVA power grid. While work is going on down below, work on other parts of the facility is also going on. Almost 1,100 feet higher, workers are doing maintenance on the lake. Now, we're told that no major problems were discovered during this downtime for Raccoon Mountain. Folks, coming up tomorrow, we're going to take you inside the tunnel where millions of gallons of water goes up and down that mountain. You'll also see a familiar name on the turbines and power generators. It's a fascinating look at the power generated hundreds of feet below your feet. Latricia, I've got to say, I look down the elevator shaft there where the uh, power lines are going. That's a site that will make you weak in the knees. Yeah, scary, but very fascinating, as you said. Thanks, Calvin. Right now, the Raccoon Mountain Pump Storage Facility is on target to resume generating power on November 21st.